What's up, guys? It's Pastor Joel. It's a Rise and Build prayer night. I'm so glad to be with you tonight. Uh, really, really excited about all that God is doing. I just, for me personally, I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm excited. Uh, I have had some great conversations and just been seeing God do some great things in people's lives. And not to say that people are hurting and that life isn't hard, but uh, I'm excited about some things that are, God's doing within our church collectively and i'm excited about what he's doing in, in people's lives individually uh today i had the awesome opportunity to have some meetings with some people and spend some time with some people that for me it's just life giving and uh, i'm just so grateful to hear these stories of life change and what god's doing in them and then through them and for them and i'm just uh just honored to get to uh, pastor such a great people not a perfect people but a great people um it's it's thursday night we have been praying since September of 13 on either a Tuesday night at the start or a Thursday night for a rise and build for what God's going to do in and through us in our future specifically. Um, I plan to be on the hill this weekend some, and uh, it's always an exciting time to uh, just get to walk where God is going to take us. We know that's our future. We know that's our call. It has been confirmed over and over and the vision is from God and it's for God. So uh, I'm going to pray right now and I'm going to specifically pray for a rise of Bill, but I'm also going to pray that we would rise. And I'm also going to pray that this weekend we wrap up this Rise to the Challenge series great and strong and as we should. And for Easter, Easter's coming up. It's like eight, nine, ten days away from today. I cannot wait to see how God shows up and what he does in our gatherings online and in person. Uh, even this whole weekend thing we got planned, we got a Friday night, Good Friday online gathering. We've got a Saturday night, a little devotional for us to kind of set our minds and, and put out uh, just a, a good word. And then Sunday morning, uh, it's on. We're going to get together and give God the glory and remember that he is risen. So that's all I'm going to say about that. So let's pray. Father, you're a good God. You are a loving Father. Father, you're our rock. Psalm 18.2 declares that. Father, you bring living things from dead things. You create things from nothing. So, Father, right now we have a vision and some confirmations and uh, a lot of hope. But, Father, we know that your call on us as a body is not to build a building, but to walk in faith into a future. We know, Father, that you've called us to the hill. And we know, Father, that we are going to grow and get to a place where we'll be ready to steward that well. And so just bless us in that endeavor. Give us faith, trust. Uh, we banish fear. We banish doubt from that. And we want to follow you. We want to bravely listen for your voice and obey. Uh, so, Father, bless us in that. God, as we wrap up this series this weekend, Father, would you let us rise to the challenge? Would you pray? I just pray for all, all of us as a church that we would die to self, that we would pick up our cross, that we would do hard things, that we would not uh, let our obedience happen when it's easy or convenient or natural that we would war against our human nature, that the old self would stay crucified, that the new person would be resurrected and live powerfully in and through us. Because that's what the world needs. They need Jesus. They don't need Joel. They need Jesus, Holy Spirit in us, in all of our places, our neighborhoods, our networks, our our houses, our, 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 our habitat. Father, wherever we are, like just we need Jesus to come out. And so let that happen, Father. And Lord, for Easter, again, I just pray for our Easter gatherings, uh, the Friday night one, the Saturday one, the, the in-person and online on Sunday, Lord. Would you let us just invite people and encourage people, Father, believing that you can do so much through a simple invitation, believing that you can do so much through a gathering, Father, believing that your word, when preached, Father, will not return void, but but that it will produce, it will, it will accomplish. And so, Father, we will declare uh, with conviction and passion that you have risen from the dead and one of our biggest problems is that we forget it. So we're going to commit to remember. We're going to uh, get some some handles on this remembering action. And so, Father, just with all the excitement that's coming up, Lord, let us just be about inviting people. And Father, this time of prayer was, was always about uh, just crying out to you for our future. 
But even right now in the present, Lord, we just cry out. If we're hurting, Father, hear us. And we know that you're a healer. Um, if we're sad, Father, we know that you're the lifter of our head. Uh, if, if there's shame or discouragement, uh, Father, bring honor and blessing. Uh, if there's doubt, let faith rise up in its place, Father. We love you and we thank you. And Father, we just declare right now that the devil, man, he, he might try to lure us in or trick us or bait us with giving us what we want or what we think we want. But Father, you're a good father and you will give us what we need. And so, Father, what we need from you is truly what we want. So I just pray that we'd walk in obedience. Father, I pray for us as a church, we'd recenter, even right now in this prayer, we'd recommit to knowing you, making you known, Jesus, because we believe that you, Jesus, are the key. And we, we believe you're the key to life. And we want everyone not a few, not those we agree with, not those that are easy to, to like, or not those that are going to not push back, but, but everyone to have abundant and eternal life. And so, Father, would you bless Bar Church and all of the individuals that make up this body, this faith family, every heart, every home, every bit of happiness and every bit of, of, of hurt, be over it and in it, work through it, and may you get glory and may we be about others good. Father, remind us that you have risen. We're not gonna wait for Easter to remember that. We wanna know that now. Any place there's death, you can bring life. Anything that has got us down, you can raise up. Let us remember, Father, that you are so good, so powerful, so loving, and we love you. And we thank you for hearing our prayer. It's through Jesus' beautiful name I pray for a church that I love. Amen. And listen, guys, continue to pray. Continue right now, wherever you are, whoever you're with, whether you're watching on Thursday night or years later, just stop right now or continue, actually, and just keep talking to the Father. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, pray without ceasing. It means just ongoing, just conversational. Let's Take a moment right now to continue talking to our Heavenly Father. Love you guys.